Hey, 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 Alias here, and today we talk about the steamer. This is another anomaly, which basically is a uh, underground packet of uh, hot gases and steam held together by, uh, you guessed, uh, electromagnetic uh, fields. Steamer will attack random targets in his range with a burst of high pressure uh, vapors. Doing so, craters will appear acting as uh, steam vents. Not all of them will have uh, steam leaking out to limit the performance issues. More than that, after a while, all the craters will be deleted as well, so we don't have clutter and unnecessary objects around the map. Steamer can be destroyed with uh, explosives or grenades, which will make the pocket of uh, gases to collapse and uh, dissipate. The anomaly will uh, always be in the center of uh, his territory. To determine his location, you can use the craters created by uh, his attacks to triangulate his position and place explosives or use grenades to make the steamer to cave in and uh, disappear. To find his uh, precise location, you can also use the sounds uh, steamer uh, makes. As louder they are, as closer you are to the anomaly. When a steamer is destroyed, you'll notice a big uh, puff of steam and uh, gases. Those are not so toxic for AI and players, but because they are released with a high pressure, they will destroy pretty much everything in a range of uh, 20 meters or so. Steamer, as a script, will start uh, running only when a player is close enough, more precisely under 1500 meters, and will uh, attack targets only if they are inside his territory, which is something you can tweak via script parameters. Talking about parameters, let's have a look on uh, any alias uh, Steamer SQF. We have uh, four parameters. First is the name of the marker which sets the position of the anomaly. The next one is the radius in meters of the steamer's uh, territory. The third parameter is the amount of damage uh, steamer inflicts with uh, his attacks on uh, units. And the last parameter is the delay in seconds between attacks. Keep in mind that uh, 4 seconds are added to the value you use for uh, this delay just to make sure the performance doesn't uh, suffer too much. If you want to decorate your mission with uh, steam vents, uh, you can use uh, this script with the name of the object as parameter. All you have to do is to place an object in editor, name it, then use that name to run the script. As you can see in the examples I gave uh, in the demo mission, you can use as uh, steam vents uh, any objects uh, you want. The sound and the steam effect is random. This way we avoid uh, repetition and we can create a uh, more natural looking uh, scene in our uh, mission. And with uh, this I think I covered uh, the need to know stuff. If you have uh, questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. Until next time, have fun and uh, happy editing!